A, B, C. Always be celebrating. Guys, there is so much, so much to be grateful for in this now moment. And the wounded ego, the conditioned pain body will have you believing that you're going to starve to death on the side of a road with no clothes and no money and no anything. The wounded ego will literally take you on a ride where you will forget that all your true needs are actually met in the now moment. Like if you guys were to take inventory, do you have a phone? Yes. Do you have a source? You have somewhere to get food for at least years at this point. Yes. Do you have shelter or could you stay at somebody's house? More than likely it's a yes. So food, entertainment, shelter, all of these things are your actual real, like real, real needs, needs. There's wants and there's needs. All your needs are met and everything is vibrating. Everything has a frequency. If I'm believing and listening to the pain body, lack and limitation, scarcity, not enoughness, if I'm believing and listening to that narrative, that narrative is going to draw me in and I'm going to experience what? What am I going to experience if I'm believing the wounded self, the lowercase t, truth? which is, ah, uh, there's not enough, and there's not enough money, and oh, people won't buy, it's 2020. Oh, it's a pandemic, it's this, it's that, the world is over, oh my God, Bill Gates is gonna eat us, the Australian government's gonna take over and we're gonna be robots, everything is gonna be terrible, my life is over. What does that do to me? If I'm believing that every single day, if I'm buying into every single conspiracy, if I'm thinking that Donald Trump is literally Jesus, come back, save us the white man jesus is coming back to save us if i'm playing that game and i'm giving all my power to that game what am i gonna what am i gonna experience like for real 